Now we're ready to uh, weave in what I've heard called a number of different things. Some people call it a fill, some people call it a header, and I think most accurately I've heard it called a spreader. So the goal is to uh, get these warp threads uh, to close this gap that's here. So we want the threads to be next to each other over here. So we're going to weave this yarn in to do that. I'm going to start by making sure that uh, the selvage is up when I'm locking in the edge. I'm locking it in into two of my little bundles uh, with the selvage on the top. That means when I change sheds, the selvage is on the bottom and I'm ready to weave. Um, so I don't have to pay attention much to edges. I don't have to worry. Uh, I'm not likely to pull in now. Uh, and I don't have to cover the warp with this header yarn or, or spreader yarn or filler yarn, whatever. Uh, the yarn that I'm using is uh, actually very thick. It is three times the normal thickness that I use for weft yarns um, at this eight ends per inch warp set, uh, but I'm, um, I need that. That will help me. Uh, that's the best kind of yarn to use for the fill. A lot of people will use rags, uh, or, but I've, I've seen people use Kleenex. There's just, it just doesn't matter a whole lot what you're using. So the more that I put in, the more it is pulling these warp threads together and, and spreading them evenly. I know that the amount of yarn that I happen to have on this spool is going to be enough to do the job. Um, I can always reuse the same uh, yarn to do this chore every time if I want to, uh, and that, that actually works really well. So now I'm, I've got it spread out, evenly distributed, and I'm ready to uh, start weaving with the actual yarn that will be a part of whatever I'm weaving, my first piece, after tying onto the apron. So. Let's go.